Hi guys. Now that everybody has access to Raz Kids, I'm going to show you another way you can record yourself reading your books for your phonics and your reading touch point assignments. Now, I prefer that you do it in Canvas where you open the two different tabs and you read from one tab and record yourself reading from another tab. I prefer it that way because I like to actually see your child's face when he or she is reading. That way I can see their mouths moving and I can see the way they are forming their words. That way if there's any speech issues, it's easier for me to see it when I actually see their faces when they are reading. But if for whatever reason your device isn't compatible or it's just not cooperating and you cannot quite figure out how to read and record at the same time, there is a very easy option on Raz Kids on reading a book and recording at the same time. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And if it makes it easier for you, it is okay to record here and use that for your phonics and your reading touch point assignments. So what you're going to do is you're going to log in to um, under your kids login. Uh, remember, you um, find my name, which is slin22, and then you use your student's password. Um, now, in order to record yourself where I can find the recording, you have to access the book under my assignment. All of the, the reading touch point assignments and all of the phonics book assignments will be in your child's my assignment section right here. If you access the book through the reading room or the level up, you can still record, but I won't be able to find the recording. That is just for your benefit, not mine. I will only be able to find the recording if you access the book through my assignment. So please remember that. All right, so what you do is you come to my assignment section and you find, you, oh, you click on the um, assignments and you find the book. They should all already be here. Click on the book you're looking for. Um, it will most likely ask you to allow your micro or allow Raz kids to access your microphone. So just click allow. Then you want to hit read. Once you do that, you're going to see this red microphone icon. You're going to want to hit that. And then this uh, white dot icon right here is the record button. You just click record. When your child is finished recording or finished reading, you just hit stop record. It will put it into a report for me and I will be able to listen to your child read. Now you will not be able to download this to your device and then upload it into Canvas. It will only be able to be stored in Raz Kids. So you will have one extra step. What you're gonna have to do is when your child is finished recording here, you're gonna have to go back into Canvas and I'm gonna go over and show you. You're gonna have to go back into Canvas to the actual assignment. And I'm just gonna choose one here. Let's just say it is a reading touch point, Buddy the Bear. That, let's just say that's the one you just recorded yourself reading. What you're gonna have to do is hit start assignment. And you're going to want to go to text entry and just say, you're going to type recording is in Raz Kids. And you're just going to hit submit. And that way it'll take it off of your calendar and off of your to do list. And I will see that message. And then that way I'll go to Raz Kids and I'll be able to. I'll know exactly where to go and I'll be able to find the recording, listen to it, and then I can come back and give you a grade. So it really is that simple. Again, um, the only thing I don't like about it is that this recording is only an audio recording and I cannot see your child's face or mouth move while he or she is reading. So I can't really, um, you know, see the movement to see if there might be some speech issues there, but I can still hear it. And so if I do hear something that I'm concerned about, I can ask you to, um, to do a, a, 
more of a movie video recording. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, one more thing I do want to show you about RAS. I'm going to come back here and log out. On all of the assignments, I always attach a PDF version of the book. Please remember that that is only attached for those that want to print, print it and fold it. Please do not project that on your screen and try to record yourself reading from it because the way Raz Kids has published it, some of the words are upside down um, because that is how it needs to be for when you, for after you print it and fold the book, it puts all the words in the correct position. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Give me just a minute to find one. All right, I'm going to open this up and hopefully it's one that's a little bit. Yeah, so, so this is a PDF and um, they put it this way so that when you print it um, and you fold it in book form and then you flip through the book, all of the words are upright. So this was not intended for you to pull up on your screen to read from. And it says it in the instructions that this is only to use if you're going to print at home and fold into a book. So please do not let your child pull this up on the screen and try to read from the screen because they cannot read this upside down. It is not um, a good way for them to try to learn to read. Okay. If you have any questions about RAS Plus or how to record, please do not hesitate to call me. I'll be glad to help. Have a great day.